everyone, Keith here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new Spinosaurus costume. <laughs> Okay, this one feels more cramped than the other ones. My arms are folded right now. Yeah. Yeah, this would probably be for someone a bit taller too. Viewports up above, just above my eye level here. Well, inflation seems to be pretty good. Yeah, just, my arms have to be out here in order to be relaxed more. So we want to try to cover that. Maybe, maybe wear a black long sleeve shirt. We got to bring it down here so I can actually see out of it now. Yeah, definitely more enclosed. <sighs> remember the McSawson one. I, I had a bit more breathing room. This one, not so much. Okay, is it made to flop back and forth like that? Kind of rubbing on the insides of the legs here. the mouth in this one. Uh, this one is just way too cramped to try to do that with. Yeah. See the glove fell out and it immediately started to deflate. I can't. Oh uh, that's not comfortable. Okay so yeah here's the inside. I'm pushed back as far as I can so I hope you can see my face here. This costume is really really compact. Oh, there's the viewport here. Looks like the design right there is not the best. It's flippy floppy. Uh, plastic zipper, no pull tab. There, and uh, I cannot even see what it looks like behind there. So you've got the, the armhole there which immediately starts to deflate. The legs are rubbing right there and I have to have it down here so that the seam is by my knee in order for me to see out of it. Yeah, again, this is pushing back as far as I can. And that is, this is pretty much my view from inside right here. Uh, yeah, this one's a lot more cramped than I thought it would be. This costume, I'll be honest, I was a bit disappointed in it. The design itself is nice. I, I like the different colors and everything. The red Spinosaurus looks cool. And the, the gloves, gloves have this little tiny red marking right here, but no, you could have just gone with plain black gloves, but look at the design of those gloves. It's, I don't know what they were trying to trying to go for with with that. It's, it's like a a wide mitten kind of thing. I don't, I don't even think this separate piece was really necessary. But let's talk about it. First, starting up, you got the little crest here, kind of. One of the new discoveries, Spinosaurus had this little crest, felt teeth going all the way around. Got just a plain red interior for the mouth. I do like the color pattern and everything on it. Clear plastic viewport. The white zipper goes all the way up. It's a cheap plastic zipper. So if you twist this wrong, it, it will break. The arms were surprisingly short. 
Like, if, when I was in the costume, I had to have my arms in like this. It didn't feel too natural or comfortable. It's my source the feature sale. I don't know what it looked like. It seemed like it inflated okay. I just couldn't see because the rest of the costume was just so cramped. And the same thing with the tail. Uh, a little variation for the color. I'm guessing that's probably supposed to be a solid stripe right there. I like all the spots and everything. The stripes for the bottom of the tail, those look really cool. It looks like these are uh, a darker red than other parts. I don't know. If it looks like on here they did the black, on here they did the red. They're switching around their shade of red. This is one of the most major floppy foot I've seen in any of the costumes. <laughs> Could have easily gone and added a, a piece right here or something else for to wrap around with the that floppy foot. I don't know if you if you don't watch your step you could end up tripping over that. The fan on the right side here. Again, this is a perfect example of why I would prefer to have costumes do different colored fans. Because I got a got a gray one here. There's I'm sure I've got a black one somewhere. It's probably with my skeleton, but this orange fan right. Oh yeah, that is that is on there. But but orange fan against a black costume really really stands out. I'm gonna have to see if I can find supplier that sells the individual fans in different colors. That would definitely help out. I would have liked to have it a bit more room. It could this probably wouldn't be a costume for someone that gets uh, claustrophobic. I recommend one of the other ones. The of course the big roomiest spinosaurus would be the pink spinosaur. And uh, McSosum also did the Spinosaur. I like the printed pattern on the whole thing for that. That's another really good option. I would do either of those above uh, above this costume. Still fun. You know, you tried, but I'm giving this a 3 out of 5. Could have been worse, but it definitely could have been better too. So let me know down the comments if there's anything you want me to try out if you know of any inflatable costumes and you know it would be much appreciated to get some assistance in getting these costumes so I can keep doing these videos so, yeah, it's, it's up to you guys how many I do I do them when I can but I need help so let me know till next time take care